Hello, this video will cover how to start the proctorial proctoring process for the students in. Now, depending upon your instructor, you should have access to the quiz that will allow you to show your ID and all of your um, testing items so that your exam can be proctored remotely. So what you're going to do is, depending upon where the instructor put it, you're going to find the practice quiz or exam or final, whatever the exam title is, but you're going to look for the one that says remotely proctored. This is the item that you're going to go to first. So this could be anywhere in your Canvas course, but um, ask your instructor or your instructor should tell you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And again, it says remotely proctored. It has the date, number of points, and so forth. This is usually a minimal amount of points. And you'll notice here that um, it has the instructions. It's imperative that you read all of the instructions and follow them. And the disclaimer, um, you are to be doing the work yourself, not to be receiving any outside help. Any violation of these policies, you will be um, it will be addressed in accordance with college policy. Now, again, these are all different depending upon how your instructor set it up. But it says here, find question one and click on the practice quiz link and you're ready to begin the exam. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on take the quiz. And it says a warning here, um, I am using um, battery as opposed to being plugged in, but we, should have enough power but you want to make sure that you are plugged in or have 75 percent or more power and this is the instructions before you begin during the exam there are certain things that won't be working you want to make sure you have a reliable internet connection you can't use your clipboard to copy and paste your um, browser cache will be cleared um, keep in mind that if you have any extra screens or multiple screens, you only are allowed to use one screen during this examination proctoring. And then you're going to right click. You won't be able to use that right click option, option and nor will you be able to print. Now, depending upon what your instructor has selected, the following information will be collected during the duration of the exam. Your microphone, audio, webcam, physical location, like a GPS of where you're taking the exam. Um, your identity, your clipboard, your mouse, all of this information, your movements, your in screen, all of this is going to be recorded and saved as a file while you are taking the exam as if you were being proctored in a classroom. And keep in mind that if you violate any of the college policies, um, you will be um, addressed in accordance with our policies at our college. And if you require any accommodations, make sure you contact your instructor before you begin this exam. Here goes information regarding accessibility and so forth. So if you have any requirements and so forth, make sure that those are addressed with your instructor before beginning. Now I'm ready to go ahead and start the exam. So I'm going to do the pre-checks. And what happens is it maximizes my window. So you're going to see the system checking your, your system to make sure you're in compliance with all the requirements set up by your instructor. And now it's asking for permission to share my screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this link and not link, but this image saying basically, this is what I'm allowing the proctorial to pick up. And I'm gonna click on share and that's giving proctorial permission through Canvas to access. So now here I am, you wanna make sure that you get in center and you're comfortable, this is gonna record you while you take your exam. So if you don't see yourself, this is when you, what, adjust it, and you can move your screen up and down depending upon whatever it is you're trying to do. And then you'll see right here, we have go to the bathroom, go to the, take your water, get all that stuff ready before you be begin. What's gonna pop up is now it'll show Proctoria sharing your screen, stop sharing, hi. Do not select stop sharing. You want to make sure that this is monitored the whole time you take the exam. And um, it might be in the way of something. It might be covering up something. All you have to do is move it out the way. You can just drag it. Or if you want, you can do hide, but just don't do stop sharing because then it'll stop the proctoring process and your exam will not be graded. 
So you'll see off to the right hand side, it has a space that says next. So when you're ready and you're centered and you're ready, you got your all your ID, your, your notes, and your calculator, all your stuff to get started, you're gonna click on next. And this is the tricky part for me is showing my ID. I gotta put it up in this window. So it's all it's like a mirror, so. Okay, and once it does that, you'll see on the screen, I'm gonna move this out the way because it's okay. So you'll see right here, it has my name and my photo. This is what it's gonna be shown to your instructor. And if you need to retake it, it's blurry. It's not showing your picture. You wanna go um, retake, but I'm fine with it. I'm gonna go next. And now what's gonna happen is to verify your webcam is working correctly. Please make sure your face is well lit. So you wanna make sure there's a lot of light in your area, it's not too dark so that the cam can pick up in your face. And then you can do you begin your camera test. Smile. And they take all these little pictures and they get the best one and they compare it to your ID. This information goes to your instructor. You'll hear, see here, you're gonna read this. Again, whether you're 18 or over 18 or under 18, you gotta read the terms. And then you're going to click on I accept and you're going to begin your exam. So once you click this, that means you're ready to start. And what it's going to do, it's going to launch this quiz tool. And this is what the quiz tool will look like. It'll be in your upper left hand corner and you can see it here. And it has like even the basic calculator. It tells me the much battery I have left, all that stuff. And it's a picture, but if I don't want to see that while I'm taking the exam, it's a distraction. I can do collapse and I can have it in this view. So now I say it says practice quiz um, remotely pro proctor is ready for me to take the quiz in Canvas. Now when I do that, I'm going to move this thing out the way because I can't, it's in the way. And I'm going to read the instructions. And I'm going to look for the first question. And there goes the password. Students, the following is the link. Now, this might vary from instructor to instructor. I'm going to go ahead and write this down. Make sure it's case sensitive. So I'm going to write it down exactly how it's appearing. And then I'm going to um, follow. And it says click on the practice quiz link. So I'm going to click on this link. And that's going to take me outside of Canvas to the third party software and connect where I will input this password. So that's why I needed to write it down. All right, and so now this is in um, Connect, and this is where I'm going to input the password. I'm going to have to do it exactly how it appeared on the Canvas quiz. And once I input it in, this is when the timer will begin. And do not submit the quiz in Canvas because you want it to continue to record. So now it's launching Connect. It's going through. And it tells me here the amount of time it's already started, number of points. And again, this is in the way, so I can't see all this stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on hide so it doesn't um, cause me to click the wrong thing. I'm gonna do continue, and then I'm ready to take the exam. Do not press the submit button until you've answered all the questions in Connect. No need to go back to the Canvas quiz any longer because you got your um, proctoring going, it's recording your screen, and if you, um, need anything you just go ahead and use your scratch paper and all the stuff you got and then you press submit so that concludes this video and remember today is a great day to learn something new